Hey guys, Cool Blind Way back. I'm Rick. I'm Maggie. And this is Fruits Basket, episode two. Mm. I've never underst understood why it was Fruits Basket. Uh, it's Fruit Basket, right? Like in English, anyway. Yeah. I wonder, wonder why. And also... Maybe a translation thingy. It could be. I also, I don't remember from the original show. Is that like a metaphor that's brought up in the show at some point? Yeah, I, later on, it's it's like a story that her mom told her or something, I think. Ah, her mom's stories always make me cry. I also noticed her mom looks a lot like Kyo as well. At least the same hair. I thought Kyo's hair was pointing up. What's well, red? Oh, yeah, they're both red, Rick. <laughs> Good job on that. They I don't know. both red. It's kind of the same. Uh, so we had kind of seen the first episode before and that we've watched this before and that one was very similar but what do you remember your feelings after seeing the first episode you think this is kind of weird or i'm in i mean the first time it was like okay this is kind of i don't get a lot of this but it seems fun i'd already seen it before i'd showed it to you yeah you were going like <sighs> and the whole time like this is great and i'm like why does why does it keep changing the way they look? <laughs> why do their faces keep changing shape? Because it was your one of your first anime as well, yeah. so there was a lot to take in, other than just, just kids used. turning into animals when they get hugged, which is yeah a fun little thing. Yeah, um, yeah, I was I wasn't nervous at all showing it to you, even though I think it was fairly early in our relationship. And I remember you were watching Warren Host Club. That was that came much later though. Yes, but I I had already seen it. But I remember you were like hiding it away <laughs> because you thought I would judge you for watching it. I judged me for watching it. I was like, what? This is one of my favorites. It was so terrible. <laughs> I mean, when you use the words um, "reverse harem" to describe anything, it's kind of like. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. How the, do I explain that to you? <laughs> Well, the, this and Orange House Club are certainly in my top ten anime of all time, uh, along with Berserk and other things. I have a diverse, a diverse enjoyment of anime. Yeah, you could say. Um, but yeah, let's get into the second episode. Excited to be watching through this again. Hope you are excited to be watching with it, with us as well. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you do it then? If it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are some cute pets you got there. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you a smart little poochie? <laughs> <laughs> we could have covered if you jerks hadn't transformed too. You're the one who screwed up first, Scooby. As you can see, I'm the dog. Yuki is the rat. Yuki is so holy. Possessed by animal spirits. <laughs> Ten others in the Sony family are similarly possessed by the different zodiac animals. Pretty much all we can do is communicate with our respective animals, and we transform when our bodies are weakened or when hugged by someone of the opposite sex. We are. Yuki's the Rat King. Again after a while. We <laughs> <laughs> knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> oh, only Kyo has this decency to like turn around. She grew is like, <laughs> Sorry about that. I know it must have come as quite a shock to you. Now that For lots of different reasons. <laughs> How old is she? High school. Yeah, but she just, I thought she just like just started. First year. <laughs> you really have my eyes for no one but Yuki, don't you? Don't make it sound like that. It's not my fault. You're the ones who let a girl into this house. Why is she even here? Calm yourself. Shut up! I think that's a different voice oh, actor, crap. too. Is that blood? Huh? I'm bleeding! Oh, we should get a bandage on that immediately. Uh. <laughs> Give it all you've got, you little girly boy! Oh, this is normal. Get them in a room together and they're bound to go on. <laughs> you know, like fire and gasoline. You can win. Like he always does. 
Just as I feared. Cats hate to get wet. It's not like you to be late. You oversleep? Huh? Oh, that's right. So you admit you're super lazy. Mm -hmm. You should have stayed at home and gotten more baby rest. <laughs> that's why I tell Aaron every day. You seal with fire. We might end up erasing your memories. Well, not literally. It's more like a strong form of hypnotism. A long time ago, the truth about me came out, just like it did this morning. It was a giant mess. And in the end, everyone who saw it happen had their memories suppressed. No matter what's decided, I must go along with it. <laughs> he looks so defeated. <laughs> I try, I try. concerned about me. It makes me happy, so thanks. And I get what you said. This is an important secret I accidentally found out. I want you to do whatever will make you and your family feel the safest. I'm sure the idea of forgetting does make me sad. But if that's what I have to do, I'll grin and bear it. <laughs> So much emotion for just having eyes. That little rat. I think it's so funny that they're like so amazed at her all the time because she's reacting like a, a normal human being. Not not no normal to say, but you know, like a reasonable human being. Think there are that many sweet people in the world? Yeah. Think there are that many sweet high school girls? Call no. to really fix it. For now, you just need to keep the rain out, right? Oh, thank you. I uh can get kind of a one-track mind when I'm upset. <laughs> so about this morning, I wanted to. Say I'm sorry. Daughter, I'm home. Daughter is allowed to live with us, so long as she continues to keep our secret. Does that mean I won't be punished? As long as you stay quiet, you won't have done anything wrong. I will. Thank goodness, I get to keep my memories. I can't believe it. I'm such a I didn't even know that she had already owned the rice cooker. Yeah, I had to excavate it. Got one like that. Delicious. I haven't had a meal like this in a while. I'm so hungry. The one. <laughs> <laughs> it's too delicious. It's the rice balls. <laughs> and you were talking about it earlier too, didn't you? Yeah. It's a secret base. Oh. It's a secret base. <laughs> Is it like some private fortress? Secret toilet? I had a secret base. <laughs> Will you listen to me for one second, Joe? I'm so pissed. Is this what makes you happy manipulating innocent people like me? Sure, I'm enjoying this thoroughly, but it is with Russell. It's his nature. Also, I might have tricked him into taking a school transfer exam. Transfer? Yep, it's official and everything. Tomorrow, our Kyo will be walking the same school hallways as the two of you. Thanks for the food! You brought Winter with them. Oh, 
<laughs> Would you try faking before you cause a big scene like that? Why do you go here? This place is crawling with girls. You're insane. It's better than being forced to go to the all-boys school Akito picked. I'm gonna win! I'll beat you and become a full-fledged member of the Soma clan! I won't let them ostracize me anymore, you hear me? <laughs> Are you gonna kick me? <clears throat> Sometimes not getting kicked hurts more. <laughs> I always end up saying mean things to her every time. Wait, who? Oh, you must be torn. I can't do this, okay? I'm not cut out for living so close to other people. If you interact with strangers, you might hurt them. Or you might end up hurt by them. But that's how you learn about other people and about yourself. And one day, when you meet a girl who says she loves you, you'll be able to treasure her completely. Like such a girl exists. <laughs> and what will you do if she does? That's a pretty easy question. I'll start out by asking her if she's crazy. Is that so? Perverts sometimes creep around here. This is Calvin. So you hit me, whatever. Let's drop it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kiel. Yeah, what? I was just saying your name. Well, it sounded like you were calling me. Sorry. No, it's fine. And if I piss you off, you can go ahead and hit me. I don't care. Am I reading this wrong? Or is he trying to apologize? Is that why he's out here? To find me? But the honest truth is, I thought you were a pervert. That's why I swung my bag at you. Me? A pervert? I actually <laughs> really like you. Uh, I have always loved the Zodiac Cat. Uh, I'm serious. I even wanted to be born the year of the cat. What will you do if she does exist? A girl who says she loves you. <sighs> Nothing's good about the year of the cat, okay? I think I might be starting to understand him. <laughs> what do you want? Nothing. You were looking at me. You were in front of me. <laughs> you give me that look for no reason. Uh -huh. Is the food that bad? It is! <laughs> Black and white. I'll try harder next time. I mean, uh, no. <sighs> I feel so bad for Q. Yeah. I wonder what his life was like before. Like oh. why his parents were like I don't remember if the old show covered it or not but I don't remember clearly either cuz if he hasn't had a lot of experience like I know he has like a sensei person yeah. I wonder if that's like also who raised him it was like a hermit thing like he's a little goku kind of I think so he's super under socialized <clears throat> and ostracized by his family yeah needs a feeling of acceptance and Needs to feel valued. And you have Yuki, who's is accepted, but wants to get out. Yeah. So they both they both want what the other one has, and mm -hmm. they're angry at that person because they don't value what they have. Yeah, because exactly, yeah, they have it and they don't value it. Mm -hmm. And it's, just by not val valuing it, they're basically telling the other person it's like, you, you're silly for wanting yeah, it. Yeah. You're an idiot for wanting it. Yep, it's a really cool relationship. Mm -hmm. Like the three of them. He didn't tell, ask her if she was crazy. No, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> he probably will though. Mm -hmm. At some point, she is a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a bit of a complex. A little bit. A little bit. It makes her good food. Yes, it does. <sighs> Seeing them all eat there together. Oh, so good. So delicious. Uh, but yeah, it's just such a fun show. 
mm-hmm. seeing them like come to terms with who they are and how Toru brings them brings out the best in them. Yeah, you know this kind, sweet person that she's got all of her levels in communication <laughs> and actually like talking to people, and the rest of them are working with short sticks, just yeah. trying to like ah. Uh, yeah, they're just honest, and like she knows kind of what she wants, and I don't know. It's really interesting to see how, because she's sort of simple, you know, in a lot of ways. I mean, you don't have to be like a. <clears throat> you, I mean, I don't think a character necessarily has to have like this horrifying, deep, painful backstory to be interesting. It's like just because she has her priorities set and she knows what makes herself happy, and just because she already has figured that stuff out doesn't make her simple, if that makes sense. If anything, it puts her ahead. Sure. I meant more like, I don't know, like intelligence-wise. She, she doesn't seem to be like a star student <clears throat> or anything, but she's just kind of simple. I don't know. I, I think she simplified it herself. Like, she's she's... I mean, she's shown pretty early on, like, taking on responsibilities beyond her age, like, doing the house accounts and such for her mom. That's true. So... In the cooking. Yeah. At a very young age. She... she's... Yeah, absolutely. She definitely does have a tragic backstory, like, losing both of her parents before hitting high school. Mm Mm-hmm. Her mom and such. Yeah. Um... Her mom's such an interesting character, too. Like, we get into it more. I, I really like that character, her, her character, though, because um, I, I feel like a lot of characters, they just feel a bit too, like, oh, tossed around, and they don't take, like, a firm stance. I can I can forgive a lot if the person is, knows what they want and are going for it. And she's not a perfect character. Like, she doesn't always say the right... It ends up being the right thing, but it's not always, like, eloquent or worded. Correctly, like it has the right effect, yeah. even if she can't find the words the to say. The situation often has to come to tears, basically, <laughs> before like she gets the inspiration. I'm sure, but um, yeah, she she's not over, not always the best yeah. in the situation. But she sort of accidents her way into fixing everything, which is fun. I, it, I mean, if you <clears throat> try hard, honest, and um. Yeah, I, I think other people will forgive you of those mistakes just as much as we are forgiving them of those little shouting matches and fights <laughs> and being thrown through ceilings and such. Like Kyo just judo through that girl. You would get expelled. <laughs> <laughs> and then jumped out of like a fourth story window or something. <laughs> and just ran off <laughs> like it was no one's business. Yeah. And just blew off the rest of his classes for the day. Mm-hmm. Well, he, he hadn't gone to class for them. four months before, right? Yeah. So. Someone should have been getting called by the police, <laughs> I feel like. Yeah, that's why I wonder, like, what his family relationship is, because I don't think he has parents. Um, and I wonder what the school thing is in Japan, because it seemed like it's acceptable, at least in this universe, to go and work. Like, before high school? I worked in high school. So I bought the motorcycle. Well, but uh, Toru was talking about leaving school. And oh, yeah. And going and working. Yeah, how her mom only finished middle school. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they have, like, their their high school and middle school staggered out differently. and I don't know. But that's a fairly rare thing here. It's tough to get a job if you don't have a high school diploma. Yeah. Yeah. So. You're doing pretty manual labor, I think. Even then, it can be tough mm-hmm. sometimes. I'm possessed by the animal spirits. I don't remember it being phrased that way the first time. It might have been, but an interesting idea, because they don't seem to be... Their personality doesn't change. Their voices don't change when they're yeah. turned into. So I wonder what, what that means exactly. Possessed by an animal spirit. When, like, and they haven't set up when it happens exactly. Like, is it from birth, or does it happen when like they reach puberty, or what? Because if 
if basically if the personality traits that are associated with each, with each of those um, animals of the zodiac mm -hmm. uh, do the if the person just doesn't doesn't develop those sort of personality traits would they never become a zodiac animal yeah I wonder even if they're a soma so if one of the so like let's say the inhabitor of the spirit of the dog like if he dies is the next soma born the dog or does it have to be like this person is a appropriate vessel and like there might not be a dog for a few years huh don't know because there can only be one maybe of each maybe he's born the next year of the dog it could be and i don't remember but akito is <sighs> is he the dragon um or is he god <laughs> um, I, I, I think in the other, I, I'm trying to remember, I feel like it was set up to where, um, for, like the Zodiac, how it changes, and so, like, apparently right now is, like, I think the dragon is at, like, the top of the Zodiac, so it's, like, year of the dragon, but it's not, like, year, I think it's, like, a generationally tur turned hmm. sort of clock, so right now... Akito is kind of like the top of the family. I think it rotates through the different animals slowly. But I don't remember at all. Maybe I just made that up in my own head. Maybe we'll find out. Ten years ago. But it wouldn't make sense to always have the dragon being the leader of the family. I mean, that's one of their, like, their, their like, leadership types, but, like, but the whole point of the zodiac was that it, like, time moves on. Yeah. It rotates. So. Fun stuff. All right. I can't wait for the next one. <laughs> Let's go! Okay, guys, if you can't wait either, check out patreon.com slash blindwave. You can see early access. Our website, blindwave.net, has early access full length as well as a shop with some pretty cool shirts as well. Check out twitch.tv slash blindwave for our podcast every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. And other cool stuff as well. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.